Hi, and welcome to this Osma class by Eurekan Academy Discord server. This Osma class is designed to teach you mechanics of this fight so that you will get ready for either a newbie run or a clear run. And I'd like you to see the agenda at first so that you know exactly to, well, what to expect from the guide. At first, I'm going to cover the platform organization for our Discord server, which is Eurekan Academy on Light uh, DC, and it may be different if you're coming from Chaos or any other Discord server. So please check with your server if there is anything they are doing differently in terms of organization. Then I'm going to go into the stuff that is pretty much the same everywhere, the mechanics of the fights, and I'm going to be explaining them going from one shape to another. After that, I'm going to show you a sheet that shows a brief mechanic overview and technically lets you in on an Osma script, which you can then use to expect certain mechanics to happen certain amount of times during each shape. It's going to probably help you understand the fight a little bit better. And the last 10 or so minutes of this video will basically just be a recording of the run with callouts. I won't be speaking anymore, but you can see how the run is being done, how the callouts are done. Uh, you can see this whole run come together and hopefully you will understand the fight uh, better from that. So let's start with platform markers first. As you can see in our Discord, our groups are always named Magia and Logos, and they have a number, one, two, or three. Depending on your number, uh, you're going to be standing on platform one, platform two, or platform three. However, your group name also means something. If you are a tank, mainly, in a Magia group, you can expect to be main tanking in this fight, because we have three main tanks. And if you are a tank in Logos group, you can expect to be off tanking, because we need three off tanks. Generally speaking, you all tanks have specific responsibilities and healers of these groups want to focus their tanks during the specific mechanics. So it is really important that you know what is expected of you as a main tank and what is expected of you as an off tank. Everything else is pretty much the same for all the groups, except uh, that there is a black hole mechanic where we usually ask Magia groups to stand up on the main platform and for Logos groups to go on the right side, which you will see in the video as well. I would also like to mention how we usually have a support group that stands on platform one, so Magia platform one, and they generally are acting as a DPS group unless we run into some other issues, like we lose a main tank on some platform or an off tank. And in that case, after the black hole, they will go to that specific platform as a group and cover the role that needs to be covered. All right, so I'm going to actually start with a cube phase. During this phase, you want to go close to Ozma. Auto attacks will be the lasers on main tanks. So during this phase, main tanks need to be healed quite a lot. Also, off tanks are the ones that have a duty in this specific phase when they need to soak the orbs. And generally speaking, the whole raid needs to be careful of holy, which will happen twice along with the stack marker. So I'm just going to play this footage where we will see Osma Shade happening at the back, uh, which is a pyramid, so we need to uh, move to the side, and then Osma is changing into a cube. You can also see this little debuff here, which happens pretty early in its animation, so you can see what the shape is before the animation even begins. Uh, you can expect that Osma will become a cube when it has this blue marker, and you will want to go close to Ozma for it. As soon as this happens, this movement, off tanks want to be ready to run to the right side and soak up these orbs. These orbs do quite a lot of damage, which is why you want to be in defensive element. You also want to use defensive cooldowns and your healers want to focus you in this particular part. You can see that there is a stack marker going on, as well as Holy, which is a small knockback that you'll see in a minute. There it is. So this particular combo of stack marker and the Holy knockback will happen twice during this phase. First time now that you've seen it, and the second time right after the Osma Shade mechanic, so you want to be aware of that. While all of this is happening, Main tanks are standing far away from the group in this opposite corner and they are taking this laser damage. So they want to really make sure that they are not cl too close to anybody and everybody else needs to make sure that they are not accidentally pulling aggro from the main tank. 
You see now all the shade happen uh, with the stack marker and the holy knockback that I've mentioned earlier. And this is always marking the end of the, the form. So in this case, Osmo shade is a pyramid. This is where we're going to the sides. You can see that the main thing is going to the left with while the group is going to the right. That's generally how we do it in this server. It is important to know that main tank really needs to be careful, especially if main Ozma isn't changing the shape and we need to go to the side that they go last and that they always wait for that last auto attack to happen before they move to the sides. Otherwise, someone else might get an auto attack and die. Uh, you can see that it's here we're waiting for a little holy mechanic before we return to the platform. And after this, we will basically see a black hole mechanic, which happens in every transition between the two shapes. And as I said before, we do have specific spots where we want to stand. If you're not standing in these uh, in these little platforms when we are um, when black hole is happening, we're going to get kicked out of the arena into high dathos, and you cannot come back. So every time you see black hole mechanic, this orb shape is also going to stick around for it a little bit and during orb nothing really is happening except that the main tanks are taking a lot of damage so as a healer you want to focus them and as a main tank you want to make sure that you have defensive cooldowns on the next mechanic that i'm going to focus on is the star shape star phase is basically starting at the opposite of a cube so we're going far away from osma we have to stay all together because of the splashing damage auto attacks and this includes the main tank the most complicated mechanic that is happening here are meteors which also happen in pyramid form so i'm going to focus on those twice uh, these knockbacks that will be happening from black hole portals i believe are really important to focus on as well because as a you can't wipe a group with doing this wrong, but you can kill yourself, so please focus on that. So, I'm going to start with the star shape now. In this case, again, Osma Shade is a pyramid, so we're on the side, and after that we go to the back to get away from the star. And as we're coming to back towards the star, we want to stay together as a group to share the splashing damage. Pretty soon after that, there is two people on each platform that get marked with these huge red markers and huge black circles, which are the meteors. You want to place them right and to the back uh, on the platform markers. We're using the markers 1A on platform 1, 2B on platform 2, and 3C on platform 3. They are not only showing the numbers of platforms, they are basically showing the meteor positions. And it's really important to place them correctly. You can see that these players are placing them on the correct spots, spots in the next uh, video. And once they place them, this meteor will become a proximity marker. You want to do this um, like immediately, you want to get back to the group. Uh, and you want to place these markers uh, ASAP. You, you better you know, go to one of these positions sooner rather than later. Uh, even if you're not sure that you have it, uh, go move to one of these positions. You will realize if you don't have it at some point, but you know, you, uh, you can then come back to the group and nothing bad will happen. But if you do place it too close to the group, you will likely wipe your platform and only a tank limit break might maybe save you. However, it's a very risky since we don't have too many lim limit breaks. Here, you want to resolve the meteor damage first and then go uh, get knocked uh, towards... Ozma or away from it, depending on the Ozma shade. Uh, never stay inside the blue portal or on the sides because you will let uh, you will get knocked away from the arena, which would kill you and probably end your run. So you want to stay on top of this and not an inside the blue circle. Once meteors do go off, there will be these ads, and as an off tank, you want to pick them up, and everybody else, you want to DPS them down, because they do have enrage, and basically, if we don't kill them in time, they wipe the whole party. This uh, knockback that we've just seen is one of the secondary mechanics that happen in star shape, and it will happen again, um, along with a, an Ozma shade this time. Uh, and it's just going to happen in this video. So in this case, Osmo Shade is going to be a cube and we want to get close to it. Of course, we want to get knocked away from Osma in that case. So we are going to get uh, knocked from this bottom side. Stay here until mechanic is resolved. 
then go back to Ozma, obviously again staying together so that we share the splashing damage that is going on. After that Ozma shade uh, mechanic, there will be a black hole which marks the end of the star shape and we go back into our black hole portals. Uh, next shape, and probably the most difficult one, is going to be Pyramid. And we've seen Pyramid before when we were going to the sides, so you know that. But the only difference, when mainly Ozma is doing it, well, the big difference is that there will be meteors, acceleration bombs, and stacking bleed debuffs. So a lot of things are happening at once, and let's try to break that down. Um, so at the beginning of this little video clip, uh, Ozma Shade is a cube, so we're at the back of the arena, and after that we'll be running to the sides to avoid the meteor, uh, the pyramid. Um, uh, you can also notice this yellow marker, so cube, cube has a blue marker, uh, a star has a red marker, a pyramid has a yellow marker, if that helps you. So first we go to the sides, and then after that we're going back to the main arena. Then you will see this happen. Uh, first of all, that's a specific mechanic that I'm going to show you a bit better on the screen. Uh, basically, this picture down is the mechanic that Osma just did. There is no cast bar for this, but it did give acceleration bombs to specific people. It's a random number of people and there are a couple of timers that you can get, so you want to check if you have this uh, debuff on you and what the timer on it is. In this case, uh, in our group, you will see that Yoru has the acceleration bomb and uh, you'll see him doing the right thing <laughs> that's going here on the ring and standing on the side, just waiting and doing nothing. Because with an acceleration bomb, you want to sheathe your weapon, you want to stop casting, stop attacking, stop anything until it goes off completely. And we do recommend standing on this side uh, because you can't get a meteor as well if you're here because Meteor can only go to people who are standing on the main platform. If you do, however, get a Meteor as well with an acceleration bomb, if you forgot to um, move here to the side and accidentally get it, in that case, please resolve Meteor first, because usually acceleration bombs have enough time for you to place the Meteor, come back to the group and just stop DPSing. However, you know if you don't do it correctly, you're going to definitely wipe the group, and if you do it correctly and maybe a bit late, then you might die alone, but you will save the group. So to avoid all of that, it's best to st just stay here on the side with an acceleration bomb it, when it's happening, at least the first one. And at the same time, you can see me here standing back behind of everyone else and I got this little bleed debuff on me. Basically, during this shape, every auto attack is going to be a bleed. And this debuff, um, if I'm standing too close to the group in this range, I'm going to spread the debuff to other people, like some virus. So I want to stay behind and this bleed will always go to the uh, farthest player. So we usually have one healer at the back to deal with this because this healer can then simply use Asuna on themselves, which we will see that I occasionally use. So at the beginning of this of the pyramid phase, some people will get an uh, acceleration bomb, one person will be dealing with a bleed on each platform, and then on top of all that, two people will get marked with meteors. Uh, and you can see uh, that right now after Yoru um, that is resolving his meteor, his acceleration bomb on the side, waiting on the on the right side for it to go off two people are getting the meteors and they are going to be placing them as before back and right and at the same time i'm going back to the group to resolve the stack marker i'm not resolving bleeds at this time um, because they are not going off uh, so if you're a baiter you can come close resolve the meteor and after that as a baiter you want to move yourself away from the group again because you're going to get another bleed at auto attack uh, again after meteors there will be more ads pick them up as off tanks and dps them down as soon as possible as every other shape this one also has an osma shade at the beginning and uh, during the secondary mechanics so the one that uh, we'll repeat here is acceleration bomb and the stack marker. Uh, with the shade, you can expect that there will always be another acceleration bomb. Uh, in this case, we 
and now see that while we're still killing ads the Ozma shade is happening at the back it's cube so we want to go behind uh, so back of the arena and you can see that Ozma has placed some acceleration bombs as well so we'll just stand at the back in the safe spot until it resolves once everybody else moves if your acceleration bomb did not resolve yet you want to resolve it by just standing at the back Stack marker will basically end this phase, which will of course again end with a black hole mechanic. And those are all of the mechanics <laughs> that we've now seen. Uh, so you may have noticed that the whole fight is a little bit scripted and I kind of tried to show it with this uh, diagram. You can also see the debuff markers on top of each shape. Orb is basically like a default position. It just does a black hole mechanic as a movement and auto attacks are heavy damage on the main tanks. Um, however, you can see that every shape has a movement mechanic, every shape has a different type of auto attacks, and every shape has what I call primary mechanics and secondary mechanics. Primary only happens once and it's if you don't resolve it correctly, it's you know something that will wipe the group. So you want to resolve them first and foremost. So those are the meteors and the orbs. They will uh, they will wipe the group if they are not resolved. And that's the priority. The secondary mechanics happen twice, once at the beginning of the phase and once together with an Ozma shade. And in that situation, you always want to place yourself first on the safe spot for Ozma shade mechanic and then resolve the secondary mechanic that is about to happen. The only exceptions are at the very beginning of the fight where Ozma will begin in an orb shape and there will of course won't be any black hole and that very very first first uh, shape will be a star uh, without the meteor. Other than that everything else follows this exact pattern. And one note, uh, never pre-pull Ozma or we might act just wipe before we see any of this. And that would be all of the mechanics. I'm just going to show you basically one clear run that is going to last for about eight minutes. You can hear the callouts, you can hear the fight happening, and basically this will allow you to piece all the information together. This was also a full run, so you can see a lot of people on the platform, and usually this is how it looks like. So enjoy the fights. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, mid breaks, two tank pull, and let's go. Tanks, please stay on the left side and everybody else on the right side in this current moment. And also please heal the main tanks in this phase. First shape will be star, so we will go ba back so we can prepare to run back soon. Run back. When we are coming towards Ozma, we stay together as a group because of the splashing damage. Do not use gap closers or anything. Main tanks you can stack along with the group. There will be knockback. We will get knocked together towards Ozma. When you see knockback, just go close to the blue portal, get knocked towards Ozma, towards Ozma. Stay together. Next mechanic will be black hole. Prepare to move and don't cut corners, but stay together for now. Black hole, black hole. If you died and appeared on platform one, after the black hole, you can go to your platform. Go back to main arena now. There will be Ozma Shade. Prepare to move if needed. Let's go to the sides, 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 sides. Main tanks, make sure to be the last to go of the arena. Okay, go front again. There will be another Ozma Shade this time paired with a main Ozma Shape. So prepare to pop sprint if needed. We're moving twice possibly. Ozma Shade. Sides again, sides again, and then it will be close to Ozma. 
Go close to Ozma off tanks. Prepare to pick up orbs on the right side. Pop your cooldowns. And healers, heal your off tanks. There is also going to be holy knockback really soon. So don't get knocked away from the arena. Alright. Main tanks, make sure to stay on the left and everybody make sure not to pull aggro from main tanks because it might kill us. Ozma Shade. Remember there will be a holy with this Ozma Shade. So small knockback. We're going to the sides and prepare for also a little knockback. So don't go behind. Okay. Go back towards Ozma. The next mechanic will be black hole. Don't cut corners as you're running. Black hole, black hole. You can use these little breaks to reapply bravery, especially if you're a raid ma red mage. Go back to your main arena. Ozma Shade, prepare to move if needed. We are moving, we're staying front, stay front, stay front. And then we're gonna go back. So run back, run back behind the blue portal on the floor. And remember, we need to stay together. Splashing damage is going off. There will be meteors, so check your character. Check your character, place meteors back and right, back and right immediately. Go back and right. And come back to the group to heal. You can use, uh, when you see knockback, sure cast arm's length or get knocked towards Ozma. Stay together as a group. There is still splashing damage going on. Ads, off tanks, please pick up ads. Main tanks can also help. Everybody DPS them down. Ozma Shade. Prepare to move if needed. Get knocked towards the back. Get knocked towards the back. There is cube. You want to be at the back of the arena. Stay here for a little bit. Stay, stay. Okay, let's go back towards Ozma now. Towards Ozma, stay together. There's still splashing damage going on. Next mechanic will be a black hole. Black hole, black hole. Don't cut corners. Any group need any help? Doesn't look like it. Let's go back to the main arena now. There will be Ozma Shade soon. Remember, there is big damage going to main tanks in orb shape. Ozma Shade, prepare to move if needed. Stay front, stay front. And then after that, we'll be going to the sides. Sides, sides, sides. Okay, this is a complicated phase. There will be acceleration bombs out soon. Acceleration bombs are out. Check your debuff bar. Stop moving, stop casting. And there will also be meteors. If you get one, place them back and to the right. Back and to the right. Go now. Go, 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 go. Back and to the right. Ads. Please pick them up and DPS them down. There is also another Ozma Shade. Please move if needed and DPS the ads. We are going back, 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 back. Acceleration bombs are out. Stop moving, stop casting if you have them. Stack marker. If you have dead people in your party and heal our limit break, go to black hole in, no, go to black hole, black hole. One last push, so just focus. We still have one last Ozma shade to happen, as well as Ozma shape, so focus. Ozma shade is up, we might move. We're going to the sides, side, side, sides. And then we're going back. 
Go back, go back, stay together as a group. There is splashing damage going off and please heal if anybody got hit. Stay together, there will be meteors. Please place them back and to the right, back and to the right. Melee limit break. There will be knockback. Get knocked towards Ozma. Melee limit break, please. Pick up ads. Nice. Good job, everybody. What I say, guaranteed. <laughs> 